Welcome to Fexter Life's Game of the Year Awards. The Fexy Awards feature our favorite games of the last 12 months, but with a different twist than most sites, we focus on the games that our community loves. These are the winners of this year's Game Awards. Best Storytelling, Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 was the blockbuster gamers expected and we certainly enjoyed it as you can see in our Red Dead Redemption 2 review. Whilst the game starts out slow and has some drawbacks, we felt truly transported to a Wild West story where both allies and enemies had convincing motivations delivered through exceptional voice acting. A compelling music score only adds to a 60 hour buildup to a magnificent finale that will not disappoint. Best Gameplay Dead Cells Dead Cells had been in early access for quite a while, but we reserved final judgment until the game was out, and we are so glad we did. In a year featuring remasters, relaunches, and sequels, this indie title managed to outdo AAA studios in the gameplay factor by delivering an undeniably fun experience that extended beyond the player to be shared in streaming. The excellent Twitch integration of the title meant that streamers and their audience could join in to battle with and against each other, complementing the dynamic gameplay of this roguelike. Whether you were streaming, participating in an audience, or simply playing by yourself, Dead Cells is just a fun game. Best Visual and Audio, God of War Whilst Red Dead Redemption 2 has a fantastic score and great voice acting, we feel that God of War has pushed the boundary of what audio visuals can do. Delivering a fantastic rendering of Norse mythology with a unique stylistic approach, Sony's Santa Monica surpassed our expectations even as we prepare for more Last of Us 2. The world of Kratos is detailed, mystical, and interesting, with an exceptional performance at 4K, which is integral to an action-adventure title. The voice acting gave a superb delivery, convincingly refocusing the game's mythos, and the excellent musical score delivered a fantastic background for our explorations. Best Multiplayer, Dark Souls Remastered Fextra Life users were thrilled to hear that Dark Souls Remastered would introduce revamped multiplayer features, and it was the most MP fun we've had all year. Whilst other titles may do multiplayer features more extensively, or impressively, the allure of good co-op and PvP sessions of Souls is simply too much for us to pass up and love the nostalgia trip. Whether you're looking for help with a difficult boss or simply want to participate in Forest Covenant griefing, Souls players from all incarnations of Lordran converge to make it happen via PvP events, tournaments, and jolly cooperation. Best Value, Monster Hunter World Monster Hunter World takes our Best Value award by virtue of its commitment to a stream of wonderful free DLC and events. The game clocks in over 50 hours of basic story mode, which unlocks at least another 50 hours of advanced hunting, and is then buffed up by weekly event quests, seasonable festivals, and the introduction of new special monsters and harder versions of previously known monsters, all for free. In a world plagued with microtransactions and cut content, the Capcom team kept true to its play-to-win word, and we have gotten hundreds of hours for our launch day 60 USD. The game is due its first paid expansion fall next year, at which point you might even be able to get this bundled for an even better value pack. Best Souls like Death's Gambit. Souls has become its own subgenre of action RPG, and this year the game that we felt gave us the most original yet close experience was Death's Gambit. Bringing pixel art execution to the Souls formula is not as easy as one might think, but the intricate systems of Death's Gambit and the slow but engaging introduction of its story and characters ring all the right bells. While the game didn't deliver on all of our expectations, the developers have announced an incoming free DLC that will address player concerns and adds content such as new bosses, weapons, and main world improvements. We really enjoyed this title, so we're looking forward to it. Best DLC, Elder Scrolls Online Somerset Elder Scrolls Online launched a gorgeous expansion this year giving players access to the Altmer Island of Somerset. Besides providing a truly gorgeous backdrop with an interesting story, the expansion brought the long-awaited jewelry crafting. Other changes to the game that affect all players, for free, included the introduction of jewelry traits, daily login rewards, two-handed weapons started counting as two set pieces, PvP improvements, and the ability to gift crown store items. To top it all off, the SO team has since deployed several events that reward free mounts and even an amazing house for players who participated in them. Best Traditional RPG, Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire Extra Life is all about RPGs, and this year we really enjoyed getting to play Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. With the second installment in a franchise of what many players consider the spiritual successor to Baldur's Gate, Pillars of Eternity 2 surpassed our expectations. Obsidian built upon the success of the first title and added a depth of character customization never before seen in gaming. With endless possible combinations of classes and subclasses, the replay value of PoE 2 is nearly endless, and Obsidian keeps on cranking out the content. 
With 11 new subclasses added just a few weeks ago, it is likely that no one player will ever be able to experience all the possible combinations. Biggest surprise, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey was not a title we were expecting to get hooked on, but we are certainly glad we did. While we enjoyed the original installment of the Assassin's Creed series, we felt things had gone downhill with the early production and we are extremely happy to see a change in direction towards RPG elements and immersion. Assassin's Creed Odyssey surprised us by delivering a compelling rendition of Ancient Greece wrapped up in excellent gameplay, fantastic graphics, and considerable scale. We cannot wait to see what Dragon Age's boss Mike Laidlaw brings as he joins the Assassin's Creed Odyssey Ubisoft studio. A world like Odyssey for a fully immersive decision-based and customization-friendly RPG would be a dream. Game of the Year, Monster Hunter World Capcom finally brought its unique hunting title to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Many feared that the game might not translate well to a more mainstream audience, or that it would oversimplify and do away with the complexity that has kept fans glued to the series for years. These fears turned out to not have been necessary, as the game delivered a precise mix of old school and new mechanics that are enticing to vets and mainstream alike. Monster Hunter World is the perfect installment to introduce newcomers to the Monster Hunter universe, providing 4K resolution, excellent performance, and a constant stream of fresh content so that you might not even think about having done it all. Doing away with lengthy explanations that presented a barrier to entry, Monster Hunter World instead provides layers of complexity that players can discover and master at their own leisure. As we played, we discovered new and interesting aspects and mechanics, tried new techniques, and overall enjoyed the social and gameplay aspects of the game. Large, powerful, and impressive, Monster Hunter World takes our favorites such as Red Dead Redemption 2 and God of War and comes ahead simply by virtue of its uniqueness and commitment to delivery. With 2019 now upon us, who will win the awards this year? Stay tuned as there are many great games we are looking forward to.